Welcome to the Teaching Online unit of our course. In this unit, we're going to be zooming in on all things teaching online by discussing the benefits and challenges of teaching online, different pedagogical approaches, the differences between online and offline instruction, and how to develop what we call your online presence. The good news is that despite the challenges, teaching online, well, it's pretty incredible. In what other setting do you have the opportunity to interact with students in all corners of the globe? Students with different backgrounds who may not be as mobile or privileged. And when it comes to the challenges, well, thankfully, there's been a lot of research done on that, and we're gonna be going through some of that, as well as our personal experience working with tutors at Chiron in order to help make your teaching online experience as enjoyable and enriching as possible for you and your students. First of all, let's cover some basics. One of the terms you will hear us saying a lot throughout the course is synchronous. This means that the content is delivered in a real-time situation, like live classroom, for example. When we talk about asynchronous or self-paced teaching, we mean all type of teaching which is not happening in real time. For example, an online course with video material or text is considered an asynchronous course. The acronym MOOC means Massive Online Open Course, and it indicates an online course which is mostly based on this kind of resources, video, text, audio. An OER, Open Educational Resource, is also video or another kind of teaching resource, which is asynchronous and available for free on the internet. That's what the word open stands for in the definition. An example of synchronous learning setting is what we use for our tutorial at Chiron. We have, for example, virtual classrooms that happen normally on Google Meet, where students can exchange about the content, have discussion, and a tutor that guides them through the content. Now let's talk about blended learning. Blended learning is an educational approach that combines traditional offline classroom methods with online learning formats. Beside the physical presence of both teacher and students, which is a requirement for this kind of format, you have some elements of students' autonomy over time, for example, or place, path, or over pace that can be realized online. This can be of great benefit because each student is different and mixing formats and content types can keep learning fun and engaging. At Caron, we use the term blended learning 2.0 to define another kind of mixed approach, which is entirely digital. We combine MOOCs, which are self-paced and asynchronous formats, with synchronous online lectures and seminars or tutorials. This gives students the freedom to learn the content at their own pace, but still gives them the possibility to interact in a live classroom context. Ask questions, have some sort of time structure, for example, the weekly appointment or deadlines, that help them manage their time. So this is a bit of a flipped classroom concept, if you want. The so students can have the time to uh, study the content at their own pace with the MOOC, and then they come into the tutorial online and can ask questions and use the time for discussion and exchange. Note that in this course, we are particularly focused on synchronous learning. So this is for instructors that take on more of a tutor or facilitator role, face-to-face, -face, in real-time uh, kind of uh, teaching to encourage interaction and participation. So what format we use will influence or be informed by the type of role you're taking on as an instructor. So for instance, if you're more of a facilitator or a tutor or a lecturer, these are quite different. A tutor, for instance, is someone who supports students through content, kind of like an offline tutor as well. So at Chiron, this means supporting the students with their MOOC content by going over the most difficult concepts and giving a space to allow questions. This requires competency and flexibility because every session will be based on the particular needs of the students in this specific moment of their learning process. A lecturer is a very different type of instructor role. This usually is an instructor basically relaying content in a frontal manner to their students. It's a pretty traditional and almost outdated form of teaching these days, but it can still be very useful depending on the background of the students and the type of content you're working with. And the third type of role is that of a facilitator, which we consider to be the most interesting role because you're not only transferring your knowledge to the students, but you're taking care of the whole classroom environment, helping the students autonomously build their knowledge, and it's also a very challenging role in the sense that it requires social and cultural skills that are not easy to develop in the online environment, like enhancing participation and creating an online space where everyone feels accepted and stimulated to take part in the conversation. But we're gonna be giving you some strategies for that later in this unit. 
And the formats and the roles can obviously be mixed. For instance, you could be a tutor in an asynchronous environment, or you could be a lecturer in a synchronous environment, for instance, giving lectures on a live platform in real time. At Chiron, our online tutorials are designed to give students the chance to have more direct interaction with each other, support in their studies, and practice learning foreign languages. So the role of volunteer tutorial instructors is somewhere between a tutor and a facilitator. We discourage lecture style in our tutorials as the students are already taking MOOCs where they're learning in this more passive style. So we really want the tutorials to be something that's more participatory. All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm.